all you glorious people of the world, Chelsea Chi here, back with Paper Mario. So, last time, um, we finished up our sewer activities, and we talked to this, uh, cute little cute creature, who kind of looked like a Gengar, and he told us to go meet Merli in, a uh, Starborn Valley. Here's the pipe that leads to Shiver City. So, you ready to head down at Bombette? That was her saying yes. So, let's go. Oh, looks like we still have more to go. <laughs> Whoops. Ooh. Glad I ran this way. One of my party members. Who do I want to upgrade? Multibonk? Mega Shock? Or Hurricane? Uh, let's do... Let's do Mega Shock. Mario's just turned backwards, he's like, I can't even watch. <laughs> okay. And I thought I'd go in the pipe, and that was that. Man, that cliffhanger last video was a nothing, basically. Okay. Uh. I guess we head in this pipe that's filled with all the ice. <laughs> Chapter 7 A Star Spirit on Ice. Let's go. <laughs> oh, look at how cute everything is. Wow. And I leave my footprints in the snow. How enjoyable. Yeah, hello. This is the northernmost burg, Shiver City. You come from Toad Town? Very, very far away, yeah. Welcome to Shiver City. What about you? Come here, little dude. Starborn Valley? Oh, sure. Go east from this city. But you have to be careful. I have it on good faith that there's lots of scary monsters between here and there. The thought makes me shiver. Seems like all I hear from these days are frightening rumors. What shiver city coming to? I saw this really bizarre guy around here the other day. He was shouting like, Oh! Or, It's freezing! And he was also going, No! Mario! Who was that nut? I don't know. But I bet we'll be seeing him soon if he was shouting my name. Oh, look at old Granny, Granny Toad. I better, might as well go here from all those battles I was fighting. And heal up. Oh. What is this thing? An iced potato. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Well, before we head east, let's see if there's any other little cute little penguins to talk to. And I guess go in the item shop as well. Hey, you have a third degree card! I've got a third degree card too! Cool! We have the same ranking! We're equals! You are not equal to Mario. I can beat your little cutie patootie to Toe Town and back. <laughs> this city is becoming pretty dangerous lately. I saw this totally suspicious stranger wandering around just a short time ago. He seemed to be searching for someone. I didn't like his looks. I wonder where he got off to. The cute thing, while I was thinking of talking to that penguin, is that uh, if you haven't gone to the dojo by the time you talk to him, he'll be all like, I'm stronger than Mario! <laughs> Which is just funny. Okay, let's see what I can buy. Let's buy some more. What? Guess I'll sell some stuff then. Didn't know I had so many things. Like, I'll sell this. Let's see what else we got. Probably the ice potato. As nice as it is. <laughs> Okay, I think we're good. Now let's buy a couple of these. Okay. And we'll go inside this door. Oh, excuse me. Hey little dude, you don't have a bed in your house. Starborn Valley and Shiver Mountain are both near here. 
but you'd better dress warmly if you plan on reaching them. You don't even have any clothes on. And I mean, I don't really wear much more than this. Okay. Let's, come on. <sighs> oh, hello, three ladies. When you hear about Shiver City, ice skating is the first thing that comes to mind. Well, skiing's nice too, but not when a monster's loose. It's scary out in the snow, so city skating will- we will go. Yeah, yeah! Hey, dude. I'm the city guard around here. I'm investigating a report of a suspicious character wandering around the city. You. You're not him, are you? No. Oh, I see Quizno! I'm gonna talk to everyone first, though. Starborn Valley is a little ways off from this city. It's a very mysterious place. They say that star kids rise up to the sky from there. But I haven't seen any stars rising to the sky lately. Yeah, it's because Bowser's got his dirty mitts. Ooh, a key. And there's a lock, but it's to that house. I heard that a horrible monster lives at the end of this path. Everyone is so scared of it that they don't leave the city. Why can't we have peace? I wish there were no monsters. Can I go on the ice? Yes, I can. I really love sliding around in the snow. Pingy, pingy, pingy pong. Snow is falling all day long. Skater, spinner, sing a song. Whoa! A, do, B, say, wave on, yay. Oh, I think I'd better practice. I liked your song, Penguin. Pretty good. I love sliding on the ice. Wish. So much fun. How about you? Wanna join me? Whee! Sure. I'm just kinda walking on it, though. Hey, Quizno. What's up, bud? Quiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo! Wanna try the quiz? Then let's go to the question. Question! What color are Luigi's pants? Pants? His pants should be green. Oh, this is like horrible. Well, Luigi. Mario's pants are blue. Luigi and Mario have the same colored pants. Right? Yes? No? Maybe so? I I'm going. This might be the first question I get wrong. Huh. Yay! I don't know why I was freaking out so much about that. <laughs> the usual star piece. Star piece! I've answered eight questions right. So long. Farewell. Till we meet again. Oh, I left quiz now. Let's go ahead and go inside this house. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> okay, that was a joy. <laughs> it's locked. This building's a warehouse. Nobody can get in because some careless guard managed to lose the key to the door. Actually, I'm the one who lost it. I had it just a little while ago. Man, you did not have that key just a little while ago if this is the key. It has been in the water so long and it's frozen over. Okay, to Starborn... Hey, why can't I go to Starborn Valley? We're on alert because a stranger appeared in the city. So I can't let you pass without permission from the mayor. Fine then. Guess I'll go try and find the mayor. Whoever that is. He must be this way. A way I have yet to go. Because I deemed it unnecessary. Pingy, pingy, penguin pop. Feel the rhythm, stop and bop. Do the pingy, penguin hop. All the snowmen in a line. A bucket hat fits super fine. Eyes and noses looking cool. Bring a scarf, you pingy fool. That was cute. Hello. Any 
you in for a shaved ice treat, strawberry flavor, maybe watermelon, or my personal favorite, tangy tangerine. Ho <laughs> ho, I love frozen treats. People who travel here from other towns must think that this city is freezing cold. I'm used to it. I heard, though, that somewhere in the world is a hot town covered in sand. Now that would be intolerable. I don't believe it even exists. Man, both of these extremes are too much for me. Although I guess if I had to choose, I would always choose cold every day, because, like I said in the last video, living in the south sucks when it's summertime. It is so incredibly hot. I would choose probably winter over summer any day. A really shady individual came to this city recently. He was screaming at the top of his lungs and running around. It was really odd. I think something strange is going on in our peaceful city. All these people are so suspicious. That snowman, so cute. I love snowmen. Oh, we have a guest! Welcome! You poor man, you must be freezing! If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please, go right in! Is it the mayor? Uh, hello? Mayor? No reply. Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He has a memo in his hand that says, Herring Way. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm? Oh, dear, you know you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. Well, you don't have any beds in your house. No! Uh, help! Somebody! Anybody! My husband is dead! He's been murdered! Murdered? It's kind of extreme. It's a penguin murder mystery! Uh oh. What's going on in here, ma'am? Just calm down now. You need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. My husband is dead! Look at him lying there! Oh, my darling husband! Somebody clipped his flippers! I did no such thing to his flippers. By Puffin, you're right! The mayor's been murdered! This is like a mystery novel, except it's real! How tragic. But madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have reason to put this penguin on ice? Him! Right there! That man with the suspicious mustache! I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in! Now you are lying to an officer, ma'am. You let me come in. My husband was alive right up until this man showed up! He must be the murderer! Hey, you! Mustache! Are you listening? This good woman's accusing you! What do you say for yourself? I didn't do it. Don't try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We've got a witness here. I've got a witness, too! Does Bombette not count? Isn't that right, ma'am? Or madam? Yes, that's right! He did it in cold blood! I, uh, I stole it with my own eyes! Why again? Besides, he's the only one who came into this room. It all adds up. So you're sticking to your story, claiming you're not the culprit. Yeah. Don't be ridiculous. Mario didn't do it. Hmm. If you're telling the truth, then we're dealing with a backroom murder case. Oh, I never trained for this. A backroom murder case? A high-ranking penguin slain? How could such a horrible plot twist hit our peaceful city? You, Mr. Mustache, once more for the record, you swear you didn't do this? I'm telling you, I didn't do it. Okay, I think I believe you. This means we have to find the true murderer. Ah, perfect. I'll give you a chance. Since you claim that you're not the guilty party, then you must bring the murderer yourself. 
If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. Alright, off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid you to leave the city. The music changed so dramatically. Hmm? Got any leads yet? You're still our main suspect, so I advise you to go find the real criminal. And fast. No reply. Herring way is our only clue. What do you have to say for yourself, liar? You killed him, didn't you? I knew my instincts were right. When I saw a stranger like you out here in such a remote place, I knew that you must be up to no good. Oh, the horror. My poor, poor Pinkmanskins. Please forgive me for letting this murderer in the house. Yeah, fine then. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So now, nobody will really talk to me. Ha! I'm not going to help you. I don't socialize with murderers. Get away from me! So, I know we just talked to everybody, but we're gonna have to talk to people again in order to find out who killed Mayor Penguin. Herringway? Why, he's a mystery novelist who lives in this city. You suspect Herringway? Nah, it couldn't be him. He and the mayor are friends. So... It's always the friend that does it. Why don't they suspect the wife? Mayor Penguin was murdered. In his back room. And no one has the slightest idea who did it. Oh, it can't be. It's like we're in one of Herringway's mystery novels. How could such a terrible thing happen in such a small, peaceful city? Who could do such a thing? The mayor's wife said the man with the mustache did it. And he seemed to be such a gentleman, too. Still, I guess you shouldn't trust anyone who carries such a huge hammer. Hey! <sighs> How terrifying. It just goes to show you that you should never trust your first impression of people. All you penguins are going to be eating your words whenever I prove you wrong. What about you? You! Penguin killer! You just keep your distance. What's that gleam in your eye? No! I I'm gonna be a murder victim! Please, somebody help me! You're singing and happy. I like how you're just making stuff up. Do you say Harry Yes, of course I know him. Everyone in this city knows about him. He's a world famous mystery novelist. You think Herringway killed Mayor Penguin? Hmm, that sounds nuts, but... You might be onto something. Herringway does know everything about crimes and criminals. And he seems to have mysteriously disappeared. Ah, so he did it, and then left the scene of the crime. But now I gotta find where he lives in this city. That's the only problem. Herringway? Yeah, sure. He lives right next to the lake. His house is always empty, though. Who knows where he is? What? Herringway might be a murderer? No! That can't be. He's a really good friend of the mayor's. He'd have no reason to off him. Unless there was some super secret reason. Ever since I started reading Her Herringway's mystery novels, I suspect the unexpected. So he lives next to the lake. Oh, was there no one in this house last time? Good. Good to know. Good to know that I forgot. What about you? Hey, uh, you say the same thing. You do not even care. You'd better show some evidence if you're really not the one who murdered Mayor Penguin. Until you do, I'm sorry, but I can't let you leave the city. I won't budge from this spot. Oh, no siree. I'm serious now. There's no use trying to move me. Am I being too rude? Sorry. Can I still buy stuff? I'm uh, just curious. Look, I'm not selling anything to Mayor Penguin's killer. Get out of here, will you? No, guess I can't. Good thing I bought myself beforehand. Can I still heal? Old lady? Oh, Toad! You have to side with Princess Peach on this one, and me by default. Do you believe me? Huh? Okay. Okay, I still have one person on my side. Even though those two penguins that actually talked to me and gave me evidence are on my side too. 
There's a rumor that you murdered Mayor Penguin. Did you really do it? I don't think you did. I bet it was that crazy guy I saw running around here the other day. He was weird. You don't look so weird. Thank you. Okay. Um. We will finish. Actually, we'll finish up talking to people. Now. Do y'all say anything different? No. Uh oh. Well, these penguins are gone. How about you? I said... <laughs> I don't talk to penguin killers. Even though you just did. Obviously, they really won't be letting you leave the city now. Uh, hello? You're the number one suspect in the mayor's murder. You can't leave the city. Not until you prove you're innocent. Uh... You say the same thing. Oh, wait, I think you said something different, actually. Uh... I can't believe I lost it. I ought to retrace my steps. Okay. Slightly different. And you? This is Herringway's house. He's a novelist. Herringway should be in there, but I haven't seen him lately. It's very peculiar. Alright. But we will investigate Herringway's house in the next video. So, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Now, not only are we playing Paper Mario, well, I have to stretch it! <laughs> but we are also, we're now in a murder mystery. Yay! Who killed Mayor Penguin? Hopefully we'll find that out in the next video. So, uh, be sure to like, comment, share, and even subscribe if you're enjoying this. And I'll see all of you guys next time. Bye!